Today, I am at the Ambassador in Sudbury, Ontario, where we get some spooks, find some friends, and run into the unexpected. Hello? It's all good. It's all good. This being the first video for my new channel, all the clips you see in this intro were shot on location. A reminder that timestamps are available in the description and that a thumbs up and subscribe are always appreciated. The Ambassador Hotel in Sudbury, Ontario was originally opened in 1968 and has been closed for a few years. Recently, a company purchased the property and planned to restore the building to low-income housing. Instead, the building was heavily water damaged this spring by the snow resting on the roof. Because the building was unheated over the winter, snow on the roof accumulated. When the spring melt came, the drainage system originally implemented wasn't able to handle the runoff, so the entire building got soaked. Watch as I take you inside the crumbly molding remains of what was once the most beautiful hotel in Sudbury. I gotta get up here. No one can see me. This spot leaves me really vulnerable because of the road back there and I gotta come right out here in this big opening. It doesn't look like there's anyone here. Let's go see if my back door is still open. No broken windows yet. No spray paint. This place is gonna look great. Yes, I can get back in. So there's the door I left open the other day. Yes, it's still wedged. Good. Good, good. I left this here. And it seems like if anyone else has come in here, I haven't touched it. Okay. Hello? Hello? It's all good. All right, we're good. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Scrappers or explorers? Yes, explorers. Explorers. I noticed an LED strip up along the bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, cool, cool. Um, yeah, it was all up along here. I noticed it. All right, so take two at this place. Those guys seem pretty chill. They were just all here doing their checking out for nostalgia's sake. You know, I can, I can respect that nostalgia. They're causing a little bit of trouble, but they didn't like break anything. They're all right. All right, so I guess I should actually get started on this place. Um, this is the front desk, obviously. Over here we got the dance floor. Didn't really get a good chance to take a good look at this place, so might as well. Hello? Oh, it's good to make sure you're alone. All right. Man, I remember this place. This place was awesome growing up. So we got a bunch of fire extinguishers. 
So we're gonna know if anyone's been here by checking if these have been used. Damn, they're all full. So this place is pretty much untouched. Just power, everything's off. Damn, there's a lot of there's a lot of power back there. Up here. Oh damn. Whole dance floor. I remember coming to under 19 dances here. Just fucking probably 400, 500 kids in this room. All just screaming, laughing, listening to Pitbull, Kesha, Black Eyed Peas. This, this place was a great time. This, this is great. I'm so happy to be here. I, I dreamed as a kid standing on this podium. And now that it's all done, I can do it. I'm really glad they left the podium behind. That would have been pretty crappy. Oh, and there's the uh, DJ booth up here. I remember this. Lots of girls jumped up on this rail and ground their prebubescent junk on this. Ah, oh, this. Ah, oh, that was. Ah, oh, it's so cringy looking back. I never got to come back here because I was a little plub and fuck. Little plub boys don't get to go in the back room. Woo, whole lot of nothing. <laughs> What's up here? Front door, coat check. So shout out to my boy Red Jesus. He uh, he led me around the place a little. We didn't do too much exploring before I started shading again. He just he just helped me out. I, was, I didn't know where the pool was. The whole place is dark, so it was nice that he could help me out like that. Maybe we'll find him down in the uh, in the comments. Whole lot of nothing up here. No open bottles. Let's see about that. Oh, lots of water damage. Looks like we're gonna go this way. Oh, looks like someone gave her a little test. Definitely not the only person who's come and checked this place out. But also, it hasn't been looted. There's so much copper in here. Like, holy crap. Like, I'm gonna have to wait a little while to post this video because if I don't, <laughs> this place is gonna be empty within a week. Wait, is this the boys or the girls? Boys. No one really wants to see the boys' bathroom. It's not that special. Where's the girls' bathroom? Probably over there. Oh, lots of light. Gotta be careful. See the air conditioner spinning out there. Definitely not on. Oh, I love that color of mint. It's so minty. An exit. I ordered a lot of drinks at this bar growing up. Like, not alcoholic drinks, you couldn't do that, but like, at the U19 dances, pff, probably hundreds of dollars spent just at this bar. Uh, why do people gotta break swastikas in places? So, I started with this room because it's really the only room that's been vandalized in this whole building. 
Like, there's... I know there's some writing there and stuff, but this isn't that bad. It looks like maybe five or six groups of rampants have been in here. So, let's move on. Alright, here's the log. Look. Social distancing. <laughs> 223. Just a little joke between me and my boy Red. He, uh, he got me into 223. Let's just say that. I know you're supposed to be proper and everything, but let's just say he got me into 223. Whole lot of nothing up here. Oh, I just realized I'm filming for it. Okay, fuck's sakes. Whole lot of nothing down here. Oh, a little bit of power bars and stuff, but nothing big. What's this? AM shift turn off heat by 10 AM. What? Oh, I know what this is. This is a uh, heating control for the whole building. It's because the rooms only have an air conditioner unit in them to heat them in the winter. Here it goes down to like minus 40 sometimes. I guess they turn these on for the rooms that there aren't people in them overnight because they can't turn on their air conditioner units to keep it warm, and then in the morning when it gets warmer, closer to like minus 10, they turn the heat in those rooms back off automatically. Huh. Weird, out of everything, of all the computer stuff that would be up here, that's what they left. What the hell is this? It's big, it's got AC coming out of it. If anyone in the comments knows what this is, uh, shoot, shoot me, shoot me a comment. I want to see down in the comments what that was. Probably something to do with this thing. There's a whole lot of nothing down there. Tie up your extension cord with elastic. Do not throw in cupboard, Norma. Norma, you throw your stuff in the cupboard, Norma. Bad Norma. All right, what we got back here? Oh, it looks like uh, probably where the server rack was. The only thing that they left was the one U of patch whole one unit. There would have been a whole rack here full of buzzing and wiring and oh, back here too. All the wiring for the building. Oh, password. Password door. Oh, just, uh, I guess where they kept all the alcohol. Because, you know, this is building's not in the best area, but it's in a better area of town, obviously, because nothing's been done to it. Ooh, some dress shirts. What we got? Come on, double XL. 24, don't know what that means. These pants, too. Yeah, they're pants, I don't want them. Power? No power, good. January 31st, 2008. Huh. Oh shit, that's another way out. I did not see this when I came in. Oh, yes I did. This is the one room that goes out to the hallway. Got some pads down here. Well, I guess this is, like, staff, because there's no, like, shower in there. Which makes sense, because it's, like, right behind the uh, front door. There probably would have been, like, a couple desks back here and some management stuff. A bunch of paperwork. Girls. Well, there it is. Oh, I see some alarm panels. Just make sure that none of these are active. Nothing's active. Oh, we got that fire hose going down the hall. So, I guess I'll give the story behind this building. This is 
the Ambassador. It's on the Kingsway here in Sudbury, Ontario. It went under a couple years ago, three or four years ago. It depends when I really decided to launch this video. But it it closed and it just never reopened. So a company bought it and planned to renovate it and that just never happened. It just the plans fell through. I don't know. It just didn't happen. Let's see that. You know you're in Canada. And you know, with COVID-19, it's definitely not happening. Literally, it seems the only thing that they did to this building was board it up, take all the furniture, all the server equipment, liquidate the rest, and that was it. <gasps> Key throwing stand. Enjoy dinner. Uh, Key throwing stand. You know what? I want to write my name on there, but that's a bad idea. See, like, there's water damage everywhere. We're on, we're on the first floor. There's still a floor above us, and there's water down here. So, you know, speaking about the floor above us, let's go up there and not throw keys, because that's a terrible idea. Although, are these master keys? Because I need a set of masters. <laughs> they are not. Holy crap. Okay. I'll see you guys upstairs. All right, so as you can see, there's some lines on here because it's a big curved staircase and people are pr probably slipping. Don't be slipping. Oh, we've got some light. Let's see what we got going on up here. Restaurant and bar. Oh, that's the Laura Fratelli's that I've seen downstairs. Oh, this is nice. I mean... Not that nice. But nice. Got a nice bar. Oh, kitchen. Oh my gosh, this kitchen's so tiny. There's not even refrigeration in here. What, what? What? Damn, I really hope this was just like only for fries because I feel bad for anyone who had to cook in there. Looks like there's a little more left than there was downstairs, but not much more. Yeah. Good remote. Gives you a little hint to where I am. Oh, a fire door. No. All right, second floor. Do we start with the hallway, or do we go up to the boardroom? Let's go up to the boardroom first. Oh, there's an open door. Damn, there's a lot of ways in this building. Like, you can tell they've really just given up during COVID on keeping this building secure because there's just not a lot going on in ways of security. I'm here in the middle of the afternoon. Another remote. This one for Sony TV. Ooh, I feel like I shouldn't be walking on that. All right, let's continue. Ooh, this is sketchy. So up there you see the Kingsway. Cars driving by. Big open roof, and yeah, there's a stairway down. Well, I guess this is a way to come in. Oh, all the girlfriends who just couldn't hold it. Haha, <laughs> sorry YouTube. A maintenance room. Ooh, I have never seen mold like that in my entire life. Oh my gosh, that's like rust mold. Up there, what we got? Just fallen ceiling tile from water damage. Oh, another server wreck. Looks looks a little bit smaller. Not too much going on in here. Probably just uh, 
Yeah, there's the fiber optic where the internet came in. So this was just where the main modem was kept and then some land wires would be ran downstairs to the main rack. All right. Oh, which, where do I start? Let's go in here. The board room. Oh, yeah. Got some water damage going on up there. I don't understand what the point of all of these little trays are. They're all full. Uh, except this one. Hmm. One tray not full. Like, has someone been coming in here and emptying all these trays? Because that would be a really shitty job. What we got? Another room with a whole lot of nothing. I mean, like, free air conditioners if anyone wants them. Oh, this is so 70s-esque. Any water left? No. Alright, not much else to see up here. So, let's continue down on the second floor. Beautiful vintage pieces, sweet 215. That is very, very tempting. Oh, that just goes back in there. So I'm noticing all of the fire extinguishers are taken out in here. I have no idea why. Like, it's just very odd that all the fire extinguishers are taken off. Well, not fire extinguishers, the uh, Hoses. They're hoses. Hoses are trying to figure out what a hose is. Ooh, this one's a little nice. This would have been a sweet. Definitely would have been a sweet. Oh my gosh, look at this tub. Honeymoon sweet, nice. Wonder how many people have. Never mind. Never mind. Moving on. Not much to see. Whole lot of emptiness. Yep, more of the same. This one is sweet too. Nope. Empty, empty. Empty, empty. that room that, that he helped me get in. I believe it was 223. Is it this one? 221. Oh, this one. So, this room was all locked up. Yep, yeah, I remember this. This room was all locked up. There was no reason behind it. Ooh, look at that mold. Oh, that's a happy face. Yeah, this room was locked, and let's just say he helped me get in here. No mirror. So, what I have a feeling happened was the company that bought this building, they realized it was a lost cause. But there was a lot of things that could still be used in it. TVs, furniture, beds. Like, it was kept modernized to a certain point. Like, it's old, there's no elevator. It's just a really old, outdated hotel that was trying to be kept up on. So there's a hotel that opened up probably not even 400 meters from here two years ago, pretty much when this hotel went down. And I haven't done any digging yet, but I have, I have a good feeling that all the server equipment, all the TVs, all the anything that could be used went into that hotel, and everything else just either got sent to the dump or liquidated. So... 
It's a pretty good theory of what happened to this place. Ugh. I should really be wearing a respirator in here. Like, look at that. I don't want to get any closer, but I'm gonna. I've never seen mold like that in my entire life. Where does this go? Deadbolt. Can't get in there. Oh, this room does feel a bit deeper than the rest. I wonder where that goes. Uh, so a big part of, for me, exploring is not breaking anything, not doing anything bad, not causing any trouble. Really squishy in here. And that's just part of who I am. I'm not a troublemaker. I don't cause graffiti. I don't break mirrors. I don't break in windows to try to get in buildings. So if I can't get in somewhere and I can't find a way around it, it's just not happening. What do we got here at the end? Ooh, some black mold. I am gonna assume there's nothing to be seen in here. Oh, a little housekeeping closet. Alright, and that's the end of the hallway. I guess that's all to be seen on the second floor. So, save me the walk all the way to the end. I'm gonna take these stairs. <laughs> floor is wet down here. Yeah, there's some water down here. Oh, a nice big house. Big closet, though. Where does this go? Just out the back. So I guess it's time to do the first floor. Oh, this this hallway is so spooky. Okay, so surprisingly, this is the first floor. Like, I can open this door, and it goes, it goes straight outside. We're at ground level. It's still full brightness out there, and it's so dark. They've just boarded up this entire building. Like, let's turn off the fly. Oh, yeah, we're... Uh, I'm going to turn that back on. That's pretty scary. Oh. Oh. This is nice. This is a little bit modernized. Oh yeah, there's some nice tiling in here, different color scheme. Looks like the fixtures were swapped out a little bit. Yeah, the coloring is completely different in this room and the flooring was swapped out. I feel like this is what their plan was for the whole building before they just abandoned the whole thing and realized it was a lost cause. Because like over, yeah, across the hall, this one's been gutted out. I got the walls already done, I guess they were just waiting on flooring. Huh. So I guess they started at the end and just never continued, did they? Nope, th these ones are gutted out. No, nope, no, nope, this one's still old. Okay, weird. Very strange. Whole lot of nothing down here. Another fire extinguisher hose pulled out. Hopefully I won't come across too squishy of floors. Power is off. Perfect. So a big thing that you need to worry about, you, the viewer, when exploring abandoned buildings like this is active power. If you find active power anywhere, put on a hood, put on a face mask, something. Something to just conceal your identity. Because wherever you are, let's just say uh, the U.S. and Canada, that security footage can be used in court against trespassing, blah, blah, blah. I don't really have to worry about that here. Like, the fence is open. There's four doors. There isn't even a no trespassing sign. So, but when you're exploring just your, your average abandoned building, just keep an eye out on the circuit breakers to make sure there isn't just one circuit on is that one circuit could be using for security. 
And that has been my PSA while trying to get down the spooky hallway. Man, I am so glad I'm done getting down that hallway. So, back to the lobby. I'm not sure if you guys see that. Here, let me turn my light off. I just see one little flickering light. It's like all the way at the door. I feel like it's a light going out, but I need to know what it is. I, just, I don't feel good when there's security. Hello? Just make sure you're alone. Always. Because if you find the police before they find you, they're going to be a lot easier on you. What am I seeing? Here. It's just a hole in the door. Okay. I was scared for nothing. So, I'm sorry for the lackluster quality, guys. I am shooting on my Pixel 3. It is a great phone for low light. So, I am looking into getting a GoPro. Next time, maybe I'll have a GoPro. Maybe if enough of you guys subscribe, I'll get to a thousand subscribers and I can, you know, the YouTube channel can buy me a GoPro. But I don't think that's happening. So we're going to go to the basement next. And, uh, it's pretty spooky. Let's go. Cool. Hello. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut the video for a second. I want to take a picture. Now I've gotten those pictures out of the way, let's get downstairs. Oh, this is weird. So as far as I know, this is the only staircase down here. Just trying to be quiet for a sec, make sure I'm alone. Little front desk area, well, back desk area really, this is the bottom floor. But yeah, um, where do we start? I like to go left to right. Just a little storage room in here. 223 to lots, 632. So that, leverage asset solutions. That makes me think that I was right when it came to that this building was just uh, liquidated off. Look at these fake windows. We were definitely in the basement, but they made some real efforts to make sure that this ballroom made sure it did not look like it was in the basement. <sighs> Alright, this is a mess, but there's no graffiti anywhere. Like, there's nothing. There's no, there's not a speck. So this just makes me think that a chandelier fell, because like, these ceilings are all messed up. I feel like there's a nice big chandelier in the middle. Oh, no. Oh. Here is it. Here it is. Yeah, just one fell. But as you can see, as time goes on, there is more and more ceiling tiles coming down. This whole basement is just coming down. Now this says exit. I very highly doubt it goes outside. Oh shit, it does. Oh yeah, my Blake is here. Yeah, there's my Blake. Uh, Cool, I know how to get out to, to just go straight to my bike instead of having to be sketch. What else do we got down here? This little storage room. Weird, this is weird. So there's these stairs coming up that look like the floors in my old school, but it's just cut off at the top. You can't get up. It looks like they used to just go outside, but it got expend extended. Uh, let's go back to that other area. Whoa, okay. On my way back to the paneling room, I came across this. I have never, in any of the YouTube videos I've ever seen, seen someone do this. I've never... That's weird. 
And also I want to point out this extension cord. So it seems to plug in here, but watch, look, look at it. There's one, two, three, four, where does it go? Five, look, I don't, I don't even see the point, there's no outlet here. Six, all the way to here. So I guess at some point these outlets went, weren't code anymore. And if they wanted to keep hosting stuff down here, they had to figure out a way to get power for everything. Because, you know, people got to charge their phones, DJs got to have their setups and their lights. So that was their, that was their solution. How terrible. All right. Let's see what else we've got. Ah, perfect. The bathroom. I really need to pee. I've never had to walk over a mound like that before. Alright. Alright, so... I was recording for about 20 minutes, and my phone gave me the out of storage notification. So I had to come back. I checked in the last place I went, I was taking a piss. This flashlight... Yeah, it's just from my bike. It uh, died in the middle of me taking a piss, and my phone's flashlight was on the counter. So... That's supposed to say poke me. Yeah. I believe the only place I had to explore. Here we are back at the Ambassador for day two of filming. Got a fully charged phone, got a fully charged flashlight. Let's get back in. Nice to see no one's closed my door. Let's check in with the dance floor and make sure there's no one here. Hello? Is it just me or did this place get cleaned up a little? It doesn't feel as gross as it did last time. There was water on here. Oh, yeah, there still is. Okay. No one up in here. Let's, uh, let's start down in the basement, because that's where we ended off last time. Oh, I found the ladies' room. I didn't get to take a look at this last time. Wow, this is actually really nice. The men's room sure wasn't this nice, that's for sure. Yeah. This is nice. Oh no, someone took down the key throwing stand and knocked down all the keys. See, this is how fast word, word gets out about these places. Like, just can't have nice things. <laughs> someone put up a caution sign. Oh, and someone broke these mirrors. Man, this place was spotless. What's going on over here? People are throwing nails at the wall. Oh, and there's the, uh, the key containers. Yep, yeah, so, yeah, as you guys can guess, I'm, I'm back. I'm back for round two. Oh, there's another broken window. Huh. So this is all since yesterday? No, two days ago. I was here two days ago. And all that shit happened just since then. I don't think anyone's gonna cause anything down here. It's too, uh, it's too spooky. So where were we? Okay, I had just finished searching this ballroom. Oh, that door's open. I'm gonna close that. That's too easy of a way in. Like, it rained the other night and I can see some water on the floor. Let's close that. There. Keep this place pretty for as long as we can. Alright. So 
So, uh, last time I finished, my video started getting corrupted in the men's bathroom. And then I went down to the pool, and that's all I got. So, let's continue around the circle. And here we've got a housekeeping... Oh, Christmas decorations. Every abandoned building needs Christmas decorations. Oh, some more server equipment. What do we got here? Just a little 100 megabit switch and an old fax modem. Hmm. Nice power bar down there. Fiber? No, no fiber optics. Oh, this was nice. Oh, someone took the battery back up out of the routers. Or sorry, modems. Those were modems. Nothing good. All right, continuing left, we've got the women's bathroom. Oh, again. Again with the women's bathrooms being nicer than the men's. What's up with that? Oh, in the hallway of the actual bathroom. Oh, that's weird. They had like a makeup room and then a separate actual bathroom. <laughs> I know nothing about girls' bathrooms. And then we've got the pool over there, which we'll end with. Or, you know what, let's do the pool now, why not? Go around in the circle. Okay, all right, so last time I was here, this scared the bejeebus out of me. I, I was not able to hold it together getting out of here with that. All right, start to the right. Oh, looks like a way back to the lobby. Looks like more housekeeping, maybe towels. Oh. More Christmas decorations from, oh, that's New Year 2000. Nice. All right, I'm gonna cut the video here for a second. All right. Back here, it looks like we got a little storage room. Oh, that flooring from like, back in grade school. I remember these floors. Oh, holy maintenance room, Batman. Jeez. Everything in here is off. I won't spend too, too much time in here, but... Just some old one. A record. This is like the only actual thing I've found in this whole place. That we got. I'm in the mood for love. Aren't we all? It's some lonely times. Yeah. It's probably asbestos. Oh, a hot water heater room. Let's go that way. Oh, some wet floors again. More electrical, all turned off, perfect. Oh, oh this is that weird little that weird little hallway that cuts to the lobby. Now, I'm not sure how well you can see. Really not sure how well you guys can see this, but this is just how tiny this hallway is. My left shoulder's there and my right shoulder's here. It's just such an awkward, weird little hallway going back to the lobby. It's creepy. All right, continuing down the hall to the pool. Oh. Loops back around to that maintenance room. I'm always interested at reading these old signs. 
simple little restroom. Shower room. Yep, got a shower before you get in the pool. Another shower room. Oh, this one wraps around all weird. More privacy, I guess. What do we got in here? A little salon or something? Or oh, I'm guessing this was probably the workout room. Probably had some like TVs mounted on the walls somewhere and a bunch of workout equipment in here, but that's all gone now. I agree. Fucking rude. Ugh, another one. Why do people do this? Oh, here's the pool. Oh, I don't think that door was in the pool last time I was here. Hmm. Oh, there's broken glass all over down here now. Why? Why are people like that? Lots of black molds. I'm gonna go close this door. If people aren't gonna be able to be proper in this building, they shouldn't be able to get in. If the store is just wide open. Yep. Nope. At least they're putting the garbage in the garbage. Alright. Not much else to see down here. It's sad to see the rest of the building crumbling away like that. Some more of those weird cut off stairs, look. They're all cut right there. And they have all this pool equipment on it. So I'm guessing the pool in this hotel, by like all the cut up foundation and the stairs all messed up, this pool wasn't original. Maybe this was the original like ballroom area and then they put the pool down here and put a second one or maybe they had two ballrooms, who knows. But. That's all there really is to see in here. Not much. Oh, I've got something on the floor. Attention all pay there's no shower before entering the pool. I could have never guessed. Alright. What a big, long, weird hallway. It's curved. It's like the whole basement is just a big circle. wire got me again. Really nice fireplace with some really not nice mold in it. Yeah. What we got over here? Oh, it's that maintenance room. That weird tiny hallway. These were. There's nothing up here. Tablecloths or something? Who knows? Oh my god, look at that. Look, this is what normal drywall looks like. 
This is what moldy drywall looks like. Mmm. Makes me lots of cheese. Yeah, I don't think bleach is gonna do anything. Right. To the left. Oh, got a cute little meeting room. Ooh, nice chandelier. I'm surprised that's still here and hasn't been hasn't been destroyed yet. Continuing straight, we got a little looks like staff room maybe. It's still got that that flooring from school. Walls are just starting to fall apart in here. Oh, someone let out the fire extinguisher. Oh, we got something back here. Oh, we got the... Looks like maybe drill bits or something. A little alligator clamp. Nothing else. Oh, a glass tabletop. Another remote. What a weird common theme for this building, remotes. It's the third remote. It's a big fire extinguisher, geez. Just another housekeeping room, not much to see. This little main area. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. I'm guessing this is where they kept the alcohol. Yeah, it's pretty cold down here. Some really creepy vibes from this room. Holy jeez. Had to duck under get to get that thing. That, that, that goes nowhere. I really want out of this room. Oof. Shallow water, no diving. Oh, all the people who have been here, including us, that marker didn't work too well. like maybe a kitchen. Oh, no, this is uh, definitely laundry. Yeah, this definitely would have been like a, a laundry area. Yeah, because there's the big ventilation for the dryers and there would have been shelves and stuff in here for all the sheets and, and whatnot. Anything back here? Oh, this is the type of room nightmares are made of. I'm not even gonna walk in there. Oh, just the electrical panel. Thought it was something interesting. So I see a light over there. Another open door, I bet. So we're gonna. Huh. That's the uh, door right out by them, Blake, so I'm going to close that on my way out. But it's just not cool that almost every door in this building is open now, and now it's being vandalized. So I think we should close some doors, make it a little bit harder for people to get in, and then it'll last a little bit longer. I don't believe there is much else to see. Um, did we check out this little room? Nope, just a storage room. Okay, well, that's all to see in the basement, and I believe that wraps up the building. So, if you like this video, consider subscribing, and slowly as buildings go abandoned in my area, I'll keep exploring them. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Just as I'm finishing wrapping up this place, I'm just taking some pictures, and I came across the one and only chair just chillin' out of the entire building.
This is the only chair just chilling. Just chilling there. Just the chair. Chair just chilling. All right, so my phone is getting hot and it's giving me some problems. So I'm gonna come down to the pool and we're gonna be done with it today. I know the pool is always the coolest thing, but if my phone's gonna give me that many recording problems, there's probably some ghosts or I've got a bigger problem. Ah, ah. Um, 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 okay, flashlight still has a little bit of power. So I just got a notification that said, phone is too hot. Turning flash off. Like, yes, let's do that while we're in, in the pitch black. Such a, such a great time. So it says there's an exit over there. I've already explored all of this. I went, I went to go down into the pool. I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize there was water in the pool. So, luckily I'm wearing good shoes and I ain't got a soaker. Exit. Huh, there's an exit here. Not really a way out. It's raining out. Hmm. It's gonna make for an interesting way home. Probably just stick here and wait it out. All right, so I hate to say that wraps up today's video, but um, if it's raining out, I should probably get up to the the top floor. Ooh, scary. Oh, not enough power in my flashlight. My flashlight wants to turn itself off like every two seconds now. So um, I should probably book it back up to the upstairs before my flashlight won't turn on anymore. Oh my god, this is, this is scary. Alright, let's get up there. This fucking scary cable scared the shit out of me. Oh. Normally I'm all calm when wrapping up videos, but today it's just... This is too much. Okay. Light. Light, 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 light. Alright, well, um... Thanks for watching my video. Consider subscribing and, uh... Yeah. Let's watch it.